Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Guess where I've been? This is, I can't even hold it up. So, it's actually a few, couple of weeks ago now. I went to Primark and I spent so much money. Um, I think I spent, it was, it was over £250 in total. It was just crazy amounts of money to be honest. Um, and I have got one of these massive white bags, which is obviously the reusable ones. When you have too much stuff, you buy one of these bad boys. I've also got two brown bags. That's how much stuff I've got. So it's gonna be a fairly long video. I'm going to try on some of the clothes, just so you can see what they look like. And um, because I personally find it easier to see what things look like when people are wearing them rather than just hanging them up because obviously some things fit differently when they're on as to as opposed to when they're on a hanger so yeah i'm gonna crack on it's gonna be a long one but bear with me first thing i grab is obviously disney this is not all disney this time um a lot of it isn't disney there's the odd thing that is um but i got these marie pajamas oh this is the other thing i've been waiting I haven't really worn any, I think I've worn like one or two things from this haul. Other than that, I haven't worn any of it. So I'm happy I'm feeling this now because now I can actually wear the stuff that I bought to wear. These Marie fluffy pajamas, they are um, very thick. I am not sure I'm gonna try these on for you um, because I have a pair of these and they look like a heifer lump in them. And um, they're not the most flattering of things, but they are super, super cozy in the winter. Um, it's just got a big mirror, 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 I can't speak today. Get my voice back and then I can't speak. Um, it's just a big Marie face. And then I think it says, oh no, I have no idea what that says. Oh, okay. Feline sleepy, it's, it's like a play on words there. Um, so it's got that on the front and then it's just got like Marie all over the bottoms. I am so glad I've shown you this now because I really want to wear them now it's cold. Um, that's 11 pound that I set and I got that in a medium. I got this. Um, Pooh Bear Fro for £6. It's really, really soft. If you've seen my previous hauls, you'll know that I got the Alien one, which you might see, it's behind me somewhere. Um, but I'm actually changing the cut. Not that the Alien one goes with my room at the moment, but I'm changing the colour scheme of my room. And it's, it's, I'm going to be going like grey and pink, sort of like bumpers colouring, um, because they are my favourite colours at the moment, as you'll probably see as this haul progresses. Um, I have bought a lot of that stuff. But yeah, so I got this fro to match my new room. I'm not gonna get it out until my room is done. Um, but it's just got, I'll show you on this. It has literally just got Winnie the Pooh all over it. It's quite subtle really. It's got him, like his outline around and it's just pink and gray. I'm just gonna crack on with the Disney stuff that's in this bag to start with because it just gets it out of the way. Um, these ridiculous <laughs> slippers, they are absolutely huge, but they are Marie, so that's why I got them. They, are, they, I'm not gonna lie, they are huge. I have got a pair of Dalmatian ones that I got years ago, which are equally as big, but they have worn away. Um, so I have replaced them with these huge Marie slippers. These were eight pounds. And to be honest, if you're gonna get these, inspect them properly, because when I was in the shop, a lot of the fluff on the top was actually falling out, or it was yellow, or the glue had come off. They just weren't very nice, so definitely, um, inspect them before. I mean, I think I don't know where on this there is a dirty mark on here somewhere that I spotted once I got home. I'm not bothered because these are just a bit of a novelty thing, so I'll put them through the wash and we'll see what happens. I've got hair everywhere, I'm molting. So I got this is really creased up because this has been in the bag for so long and I've had it out and I just didn't fold it up again properly. Um, it is this cream coloured ribbed I think you'd call it a turtleneck um t-shirty it's not a jumper it's like middle ground so it's sort of t-shirt material but it's slightly thicker so it's sort of it's ribbed there we go you can see that there it is ribbed um it's it's fairly thin I mean if I stick my hand through it I don't know how well you can see that but you can sort of see my hand through it so you'll have to be careful what you wear with this I'm not sure how much that was because for some reason I have taken the tag off of it. I don't think it was much though. I've got a feeling it's like six or eight pounds. And I got that one in a 12. Oh, I've been waiting to use these. I forgot I had them. There's just four makeup brushes in there. There is an angled blusher brush, a foundation brush, an eyeshadow brush, and an eyeliner blush. Blush? Brush. And a, 
like an iridescent um, pouch behind it, if you can see that, it sits behind, it's sitting behind it, shiny, um, yeah, they all, they I really can't speak, they look like unicorn horns as the handles, and I think they're really pretty, I've been waiting to use these, very, very excited, they're £9, I am making a mess on the floor right now, French Bulldogs, French Bulldogs are oh, one of my favourite dogs, so I saw this and I had to have it, um, I got this in a 12 because I wanted it baggy, it's just blue and covered in French Bulldogs. The lighting might have changed, the sun has decided to make an appearance, I'm filming in the day for once and I'm by my window and the sun has come out and it hasn't all day so it has to come out whilst I'm filming, nice one. But that was only £5 in Primark, it's not... The inside's very soft actually, I was going to say it's not the nicest material on the outside, but the inside's very soft. I think these are the kind of transfers that when you put through the wash they might crack, so I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but for £5 I'm not complaining. I got myself a new scarf, um, I don't know what happens to all my scarves but they seem to go walk about, either that or they're the kind of scarves that are... They sort, look sort of knitted and fluffy, but then when you put them on, they just like fluff everywhere. And I'm saying that and there's all fluff flying around my face right now. But yeah, I just get fluff everywhere. So I was in need of a new scarf. And I saw this one. And obviously I got it because it is pink and grey. Pink, grey and white, which I'm like obsessing with at the moment. So I've got this. I haven't had it off, so I'm not sure how long it is. Let's just see. This was £4 in Primark. This was £4. So it's a very good price for a scarf, really. Oh my god, it's massive. It's huge. Oh, it's massive. Yeah, so it's quite wide. It's quite a wide scarf. I like a wide scarf because it keeps you warm when you wrap it around your neck. Yeah, I'm not done that very well, but it's big. It's big, basically, which is what I wanted. Um, I probably messed up all my hair now. Yeah, so that is what I was aiming for. Just a big scarf that's going to keep you warm. It's quite thick, um, but it's my favourite colours, so I couldn't not get it. And like I said, that was £4, which is a very good price for a fairly good quality scarf, as far as I can tell. And I've got fluff in my mouth. I like jumper. I was going to get this in pink, but they didn't have the pink in the size that I wanted. Um, this is a medium, which is 10 to 12 in there, and it's quite long. Um, you'll see better in my try on. But yeah, it's quite long. It's a v-neck. I love a v-neck jumper because I'm not, say I'm not keen on high necks, this is fairly high and I've just bought a turtle neck jumper, so that doesn't make any sense, but I much prefer v-neck jumpers, um, and it's very, very fluffy. So it's like a ribbed fluffy style and it's just like it's going to be super cozy with leggings I'm thinking based on the length of it but we shall see and that was £10 and I think that's going to be super super cozy now that it's getting colder. I did it and I got a Christmas jumper. I was going to get the Disney um, Christmas jumper that's very similar to this but I have a lot of Disney obviously and this shopping trip I was trying not to buy that much Disney um, apparel just mainly because all I seem to have in my, my wardrobes is Disney jumpers, Disney t-shirts, Disney everything and I need to try and buy some other things for once. Um, I haven't really bought myself a lot of non-Disney stuff for a long time so this is what this was and when I got the Christmas jumper I fell in love with this one because it has little pugs on it when Christmas jumpers on and I thought it was adorable and it's just grey, it's quite boxy, um, I'm not sure how far it's going to come down, I'm assuming it's going to be waist length but we'll see when I try it on, um, that was £12 in Primark and I got that in a medium again, size 10 to 12, um, but yeah it's quite, it's quite soft actually and it's like a mottled grey all over it which is nice i like gray i like mottled gray so that should be nice um i don't normally buy christmas jumpers mainly because i only tend to wear them in december and i probably won't wear it this month because i'm one of them people that thinks november's just a little bit early 
Um, I do enjoy a Christmas song in November, but I'm not sure I'm going to wear Christmas clothing in November. So we'll see. I do want to get the wear out of this because I don't think it's in your face Christmas. Um, it's quite subtle. And yeah, I think it's really cute. Socks. If you know me, you know every time I go to Primark, I buy socks. And this time I got Marie socks, of course. I don't actually have any Marie socks. That's, that's shocking, because Marie, really, she's my favourite. So yeah, I got three pairs of shoe liner socks, as they would call them. And... Oh! <laughs> so I haven't... I haven't had these up the packet because I've been saving them. It turns out they all have little bows on top. Um, in like, it's all hidden under here. That's why I haven't seen it. Bows on top of all of them. So there's obviously three different Marie patterns. Marie is obviously on all of them. And it's these little bows at the top that I'm talking about. I didn't know um, they were on there, but they are. So yeah, they're cute. I do enjoy a Disney sock. And especially the shoe liners because I can wear them under my um my vans and my converse and things like that without seeing them. Oh, they were free for 250 if you're wondering, I forgot. This is a random purchase. This is a really, really random purchase. It's not even my size. Um it's this, it's a vest top. Practical when it's winter, I know. Um and it's got Pusheen on it, and it says Mermaid in sequins and she and Pusheen is a mermaid and it's sparkly. Um, it's obviously not my size. Um, this is a size 16, which I've I've stitched this on. I'm not gonna lie, I did try this on and it is big, so I'm not gonna show it on the try on because um, when vests are big, you can see like your bra and stuff down the side. So, I'm not going to show you, for the sake of my modesty, but the reason I got this is because it was in the sale. It was a pound, down from eight pounds, and I thought it was cute. It was the, the reason I got this size is it was the only one, so I wanted it, and I thought, I'm just going to wear it to bed. See, so yeah, for a pound, I'll just wear it to bed. It's cute, and I like wearing just like baggy things in bed, so this is going to be perfect yeah random impulse buy but when i was in the sale i said i wasn't gonna aim to buy many disney things but i did get this one thing and it was this white mickey mouse t-shirt with mickey mouse um like sequined i don't know what you call that like embellishment on your chest and i did look at this when it originally came out um but i didn't pick it up because i picked up a load of other disney t-shirts of course and someone said these don't last very long on there, so I don't know how long this is going to last, but I got it because it was in the sale and it was down to £3, and they actually had it in my size, so this is a 10 to 12. Um, it, it looks, I'm going to say again, it looks quite big, but we shall see, obviously. Um, and if these don't stay on, then my idea is to like take the patches off and I'll just sew them onto like a denim jacket or something, um, because they're quite good quality, the patches, I'm just... Not sure where they stay on from what people have told me. This was also in the sale. It's not something I would usually wear, to be honest. Um, but it was pink, and I couldn't say no. So it's this um, pinstripe, like candy pinstripe, pink and white um, blouse. It's quite a low v-neck, and it's quite wide. And then it's got long sleeves, which is sort of fluty at the bottom. I actually thought it was quite pretty. Um, and it's elasticated at the back. Um, I thought that would look really nice for a pair of jeans. And it was in the sale, so I got a size 10. And it was down from, I don't know, it's in euros. 13 euros for some reason. I don't know why it's in euros. Um, and it was now five pound. So I picked up my one of them to try try something a bit different. I found another bit of Disney merchandise that I forgot about and it's this Marie hoodie. It's cropped and it has little straps down there that just say Marie over and over again which is around the hood and it's got three Marie motifs on it with like pulling different little poses which is cute and um, it's obviously grey and it's cropped 
but it is super fluffy inside like it's really fluffy and um, I got that in a medium again a 10 to 12 and that was £10 but obviously I couldn't pass it up because it's got my favourite girl on it so I got that I picked up another hoodie which is obviously pink again and it says empower on it and I don't normally like slogan words on my clothing but I don't mind this one it's quite subtle it's a similar colour to the top and um, it's a very what colour would you call this it's like a dusty pink colour and I can't even explain what this material is it's like velvety but it is it's so soft I I wasn't gonna buy it and then every time I walked past it at the shop I was literally stroking it like this and um yeah I had to get it but I can feel myself I'm gonna wear it I'm gonna end up like stroking myself throughout the day which is gonna be weird and um, for anyone that sees that so I got that in a size 10 and it was also 10 pound I got myself some more pajamas which are also Disney I have made a massive mistake by saying I didn't buy much Disney because I did and um, I got the ones I went in there for, they didn't have, um, I really wanted the Marie, uh, sort of velvety ones. I can't really explain them, but wherever I go, they don't have them, or if they have them, they're not in my size. So instead, I settled for bumper ones. They're sort of felty. But I like that, that will keep you warm and cosy. So it's just got, it says, this bunny loves naps on the front, which is totally relevant because I do love a nap. And it's got sleeping thumper on it, and the legging. Oh, that is that's actually a long sleeve t-shirt, which is very unusual for Primark. Normally, their t-shirts tend to be short sleeve. At least this year so far, they have been. But that is because it hasn't been winter. I'm I'm not making any sense today. Oh yeah, so that's a long sleeve top, and then the bottom are the fleecy leggings which are just covered in thumper sleeping i don't know waking up doing what thumper does but yeah they're cute they were i got them in the medium which is size 10 to 12 and they were 11 pounds i thought they were 10 so i don't know so i'm not sure if they put them up or not or if i'm just losing the plot and they've always been 11 just let me know what you if you know because i'm pretty sure last time i bought a set of these they were 10. a notepad um, I do love a notepad, um, they just, who doesn't love a notepad, they're just so handy to have around really, especially if you're, if you blog or you do anything on social media, or even if you just want to keep notes, just day to day, you need notepads to hand, and this is just my thing, it's marble print and it's rose gold so the, the writing is rose gold and the spine is rose gold and it's just marble print all over so i saw that and i had to have it to be honest it's not it doesn't feel like the sturdiest thing so i'm not sure how long it's gonna last um it's a little bit wobbly but i mean what do you expect it's a primark notepad really and it is lined so it will do the job it's just a bit wobbly it was £2.50, so it will do the job and I'll buy some more notepads because I'm obsessed with them. But this will keep me going for a little bit. Random purchase, fairy lights. Pink fairy lights. And there's only 20 on there, so I've literally no idea what I'm going to do with them. They were £1.50 and I mainly bought them to try. More Disney. These are LED Mickey lights. They did used to do, or Mickey and Minnie, obviously. Primark used to have, I don't know if they still do, the big Mickey lights and I did like them but I don't really have anywhere to put a massive one and then recently they brought out the little mini ones and they're battery operated and obviously like the little white lights light up and um, they're five pound each and I thought they're just the right size to have on your bedside table. I got another backpack, if anyone knows me they know I'm obsessed with backpacks and this one, it's pink and fluffy. It's just like me, like I saw it and I had to have it. It's very pale pink. I don't know how well that's gonna show up on the camera. It's a very pale pink and it's just really fluffy. And the back is like a leather material, like faux leather, which is obviously quite handy because you don't want to get fluff on your jacket or whatever you're wearing. That was nine pound. The last item in this bag was 
a lip gloss. This is called the Insta Girl Diamond Lip Topper Shimmering Gloss to Alter Any Lip Shade. I bought this because it reminds me of a unicorn. It's sort of iridescent and I mean it looks on camera it's looking kind of purple but it's sort of white and it has iridescent flakes in it so that's probably why it's showing up purple on the camera. I'll show you now. I'm not sure it's going to show up but you basically, I assume you put it on top of other other lipstick and it, I can't really show you what that's doing but yeah it's sort of shiny and is that showing up? I don't know. You put it on top of other lip lipstick and it gives you a shimmer. Or you could wear it on its own I guess. That was £3. The lighting's probably slightly different again because I've now reopened my curtains because the light is now playing ball again. These are Mickey cushions. Um, they are quite long and fairly squidgy, they're about that thick. I've got two of these and this is because, like I said, I am redecorating my room, grey, pink and white. So I thought these would go nice, they're not in your face Disney, they're just sort of outlines of Mickey Mouse. I'm trying to add subtle bits of Disney like where I can because obviously I've got that bad boy sitting behind me with all my Disney stuffed toys on it. So yeah, I've got two of these, I can't tell you how much they are because I should put them straight in the wash and I took the tags off them. So, I literally have no idea. Guess what? It's white, grey and cream. It's a skirt, obviously. It's sort of felty. It's very, very soft, I'll give them that. Um, this I got in a size 12. Again, I can't remember how much it was because I have taken the label off this. This is one item that I have worn. This is the one single item that I've worn. I've got a feeling it was £10 but don't quote me on that. It's got pockets down the side of it which are very handy and it's just got a really winter feel to it because it is that felt material. Another jumper also in a pink of course. It's, it's I think it's average length but it's very soft. It's sort of sort of ribbed but it's got like a bobbly effect to it but oh my god it is soft. And because it's sort of bobbly, it's got multiple colours to it, it sort of, I kind of want to say it shimmers, but it doesn't. It's just got like white flecks going through it. And that's, I just think it's going to be super cosy. They also done it in like a, like a mustard or burnt orange, I think is the colour it was. But I couldn't get both because my arms would fall off based on how much stuff I had to bring home. And I got this in a medium, which obviously again is a 10 to 12 and it was £13. I got another cushion and this time it's pink. This one is super soft actually, it's just like a round circle. It's not massive but it does shimmy, it shakes and it's, yeah, so it's pink. There's a bit of, ew, yellow fluff in there. Um, I didn't even buy any yellow so I don't know where that's come from. I got this to put in between the two grey Mickey cushions on my bed whilst my room is decorated and it was such a good price, that was £3 which I think is really good value for like a little decorative pillow and it's so soft so I think I know what one I'm going to be laying on I'm making such a mess on my floor oh look another jumper this one is back to front <laughs> it is cream and it's cable oh, is it a cable knit it's sort of half cable knit down the front it's kind of holy and I don't think it's see-through or is it? A little, it's a little bit see-through but we can handle that and it's really slouchy <laughs> so it's got turned it, in the shop they had it with turn-up sleeves so I think I'm gonna stick with that because I'm quite short and I've got short arms I've got that in a oh guess what a medium which is a 10 to 12 again and that was also 13 pound oh it's covered in fluff I bought they're covered in fluff because they've been in a bag with a fluffy pillow and something else in my haul. That is fluffy and it has just absolutely destroyed these jeans. That's just fluff. Not happy. Um, yeah, so I got some high waisted, well these super, super high waist skinny jeans, which I mean they're like very stretchy. But they're just plain black. And 
I got these in a 12 and they were nine pounds. Tights, you can't go to Primark and not get tights. I have been buying the 80 denier ones because I probably said that wrong, denier, denier. I don't know how you say it, how do you say that word? Um, I've been getting the thick ones, like the 80 ones because it's winter and I don't want like cold legs when I go to work and stuff. So I got these ones, I got them also in a medium and they are three pairs of £3.50. I got these gloves which are just like grey fabric but the top is a very very soft like grey faux fur. It's sort of a cross between grey and mauve I would say. The label says grey so we're going to say grey. They also done these in like a pale pink and I would have normally lent towards the pink but because I've got so much pink and grey is slightly more practical than pink I went for the grey and they are fleece lined all the way through which I'm, is incredibly cosy and um, I got these in a small to medium and they fit just right so I think these look very very sophisticated yeah I like them I do like them and um, I've also got a black coat I wear for work so this will just add like a little bit of like I want to say colour but grey is not like a bright colour is it so and they are £4 I got a new hot water bottle and it's bumper. It's just, he's so cute, he's so soft. And um, as soon as this came out, I knew, I, oh my god, he's shedding hair. Okay, I don't know how long he's gonna last because his fluff is falling out. Check before you buy them that you don't buy one that's got like lots of shed. Because this is probably what's gone all over my jeans. I didn't think of him. Oh, okay, well, so basically, he's a hot water bottle and he's, like, obviously got his Velcro here, which is a hot water bottle, um, and he's, like, quite squidgy on the front, always, always fluff, fluff, that's not a word, <laughs> all his padding is at the front, and he's got, like, padded feet, and his little hands are stitched to him, and his head's obviously, like, very padded, it's just, like, a soft toy, basically, um, I've needed a hot water bottle for a little while and haven't bought one and as soon as Primark's released him and Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh but I had to get Bumper because obviously Bumper's one of my faves like, I don't know how much he is, like, his label's ripped off I, don't, I think he was like £8 I think I bought a jacket and this normally isn't my thing I don't normally do green but I got this suede effect green like khaki green and um, bomber jacket and it's very hard to show you on the camera but I'll try it on obviously and it's just a what would you call that it's like a fake suede and it's a very dark like khaki green it feels really really good actually it feels lovely and it's just like belted around the bottom obviously you'll see when I try it on and yeah, so I got that in a 10, and it's actually quite a big 10, it's quite big fitting, um, so I'm glad I got the 10, and it was, I've taken the label off because I wore this today, but I know it was £25, which seems a lot for something in Primark, but when you compare it to what you'd pay elsewhere, that's like nothing. Mm. I found my jumper, I'm so happy. So if you watch my other videos you'll know that I'm a Hufflepuff in Harry Potter so I really wanted the Hufflepuff jumper when they released it and everywhere I go they don't have it or they don't have my size or they've only got, they do a black one and I don't want a black jumper um, but I went the other day and they had the grey one and this is the one I've been wanting because it makes the yellow pop more and it's actually really really soft and it's fleecy inside and oh, I can't wait to, wear, wait to wear it, I've been putting off wearing it because I wanted to film this but it's just like a proper cosy hanging around jumper and that was £8 and I also got that in a 10 to 12 again. The very last item I bought in Primark was actually my most expensive, it's probably the most expensive purchase I've ever made in Primark to be honest because Primark's just so cheap but I really wanted this as soon as I saw it I really wanted it and it's just it's me it's me all over it's a big pink jacket it's an oversized it's like a 
a fake sheepskin jacket, but oh my goodness is it soft. So this, this fur that's on this is like incredibly, incredibly soft. And it's like that all the way through, even like through the arms, which I've just realized I'm wearing black and it's gone everywhere. <sighs> so it's fluffy all the way through the arms and that like that's really unusual on a coat normally it would be like you get them when you're, they're fluffy on the body and then the arms just aren't which if you're gonna have fluff you want it all the way through to keep you warm but it's like it's sort of got the fluff detailing on it and on the bottom of the cuffs and around the neck obviously you'll see it when I try on it has got this belt around the bottom which I'm not gonna wear because I feel like it's a bit it's a bit random like it ties up so low, low on me and I don't know if it's because I'm short but it ties up right around my bum so I'm not gonna put that on there and to be honest it's a slightly different I don't know if it shows up on the camera but it's a slightly different pink to the jacket so I feel like it doesn't really match and it's leather like a, like a fake leather and there isn't any other fake leather on the jacket I got that in a 12 because they didn't have it in any 10 and I did want it quite big because that is the look that you're meant to be going for with this jacket. So I got it in a 12 and it was £30 which is, it's expensive for Primark, like I've never spent £30 on one item in Primark but I really wanted it and also if you're going to, it's so heavy and it's such good quality, like if you're going to buy that elsewhere that's going to be like close to £100 probably. So. That's insane. I will say, like, you need to be careful what you wear it with because if you're like me and you just pick it up and you're wearing a black jacket, you get covered in fluff. So it does shed. It it does shed. So you have to be careful with what you're going to wear it with. But that's going to keep me super cosy in the winter. And that is everything. So that is how I spent like over £250 in Primark. But if you watched it all the way through, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, now that I'm actually better and can do a whole video without coughing, um, I will be more active and I've got a few more videos planned. I'm also attending a Disney event tomorrow, very very exciting a Disney ad event tomorrow which I'm hoping to film, so there'll be that video coming. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more of my videos please click, click subscribe and hopefully I'll see you all next time.